Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce the word permanent. So permanent is a great example of how we use clear vowels in the stressed syllable and reduced vowels in the unstressed syllables. What I mean by that is that in the word permanent, we have the stress on the first syllable per, and we have a strong er, a clear er vowel in that syllable. But in the second syllable, men and nent, permanent, permanent, the letter A and the letter E are extremely reduced vowels. You'll see them written as vowel schwa in the dictionary, as an uh sound, but we just say them with as little vowel as possible. So when I'm saying permanent, permanent, you can hear my m nint are both very reduced. I've rewritten them for you here as an uh and an i sound. I think that uh, it's not very important what exact vowel you use there. You can do permanent. You can use an uh and an i. You can reverse those, but they're both going to be reduced vowels. So you're not going to hear very much um, you're not going to hear any kind of a ah or ah or eh ah in these. It's really going to be quite reduced. Permanent, minant, minant. You can hear how I'm going as quickly as possible from the m to the n and to the next n. The consonants are more important in these syllables. Minant, permanent, permanent. Um, also, when I'm saying permanent, permanent, uh, if I'm saying it by itself, I will say this t sound. I'll release the air, permanent. Um, in some contexts, if I'm saying it's not a permanent situation, permanent, you can hear how you can hear how that t doesn't necessarily get released as I link to another consonant. So if I'm linking to a consonant sound like this of situation, permanent situation, permanent, um, permanent place, permanent house, uh, I may not let that final t out. It's okay to let it out, permanent house permanent situation, but you can hear how that breaks the flow of my speech a little bit. So often with T at the ends of words, even in NT situations, we don't always let that T out. The uh, challenge for this word is probably the spelling and the sounds, but just also if the ER gives you difficulty, just work on uh, putting that ER, making a strong pulled back tongue. You can start with that sound, ER, PER, permanent if that helps you. And just like I was using it in some short phrases, once you master the word by itself, do you try practicing it, using it in some short phrases and sentences? Because what you f might find is that you correct your pronunciation, you master this word, but then you go to use it in conversation and it might not come out fluently, smoothly, and easily. So use it in the way you would when you're speaking as you practice. Thanks so much for this request, if you have a request you'd like to see me cover in the Word of the Day series, feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos. If you need more help for the sounds in permanent, for understanding clear and reduced vowels, for how to say T at the ends of words, check out our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. In that course, we go through all of the vowel and consonant sounds to help you build a strong foundation to pronounce any word you like confidently and easily in American English. That's our Sounds of English course, and you can find it on our website, speechmodification.com. I'll be back on Friday with a Fluent Friday video. Saturday, we'll have our live question and answer class. And on Sunday, we'll have our special Sunday. I hope to see you there. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.